Hello everyone. Well, welcome to the video. Welcome to the video. Uh, 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 uh. Sorry. So I'll just jump right in. Um, here is this wig. This is a customer's wig, and it's real old and dirty. So I was like, let me just wash it. And I was stop gonna style it for her. But anyway, these are the products that I recommend using. Um, Bio Silk can never go wrong. When I tell you this is the best shampoo, conditioner, and serum that you will ever have in your life, you can use it for your natural hair. It will feel like butter. Butter. But for this process, I was using a clarifying shampoo. But I recommend Bio Silk because I only use a clarifying shampoo because I know what I'm doing. Please use Bio Silk. It will help because clarifying shampoo strips all the oils out and y'all know y'all know what y'all be doing i'm not even gonna lie to you i get so many questions but you see how i rinsed it first now i'm real delicate with this lace you gotta be real you see how i'm rubbing it in rub it in like you rubbing in lotion on your knees because if you like scratch it or you get a brush and try to get the glue off the lace the closure will mess up the hairs will be inverted and your closure will be balding it will be a mess so just just get it off as smooth as you can act like you're like so gentle like it's a little baby and so i get my brush this is the brush i always use when the hair is wet um i recommend going from the bottom to the top just like you were to be uh, coming out your natural hair while it's wet don't do this when it's dry don't and also please detangle the hair while it's shampooed y'all just you can't just ball something up like try to detangle a little bit before you even shampoo it if you can't condition it first and then shampoo and condition because you don't want to lose hair you want to keep as much hair as you can this will prevent shedding so now i'm going with this bio silk okay if you use this leave a comment below if you go out and use it and you see how it makes your hair feel like butter after a minute just a minute leave a comment below tell me like tell me y'all because i need witnesses i told my friend and she was like girl i feel like i got a fresh perm i was like yes like this stuff ain't <laughs> it's no joke okay it's no joke now for the wig after i condition it i rinse it out you have to rinse out at least 90 percent of the conditioner or your hair will just be funky I don't know how it's explained it. You know, you don't want product build up because it's going to be dirty anyway. You're not washing your wig every day. Yes, make sure it's, it's rinsed out as much as it can. A little conditioner is fine, but we don't want conditioner. You don't want bubbles. You don't want to rinse it and you still see bubbles. So now I'm wringing the wig out like it's a towel at the bottom. Don't do this at the top. Leave the lace part alone. Please, please, please leave the lace part alone. And y'all, excuse how I look. It was after brunch. Okay, it was after brunch. That's all I'm going to say. Now, I brush it out again. You see how it's so easy to brush it out now because all the tangers are gone. It's so smooth and silky like a little baby. So now I'm going to... I have my... um. I always do this when I'm drying the wigs. I have a, a dryer because this is my business and I need it because it only takes like an hour to dry the wigs. But if you don't, it is just fine with putting the wig on the foam head and setting it out. I don't recommend putting it on a block head because you need the inside of your wig to also dry. But yes, so I put it in that foam head. I let it sit out. It usually takes, if, before I got this dryer, it took like a night. So I would rinse, I wash my hair at night before I go to sleep. And by the morning, it'll be like a little damp, but it'll be dry enough for me to blow dry. Now, this front looks crazy, but I fixed it. It's not going to show in the video because I decided I wasn't going to um, 
going to do this particular wig on the styling portion, but I fixed it. Don't worry. So here is another, another wig I did. It's pretty much the same exact unit. It's just for a different customer. And this hair, y'all forgot to mention, I also blue dried this hair straight with that blow dryer that you see right there. Okay. So, to when I lay my wigs, like after I wash it, you know, this, this hair has been washed. Every single wig that you get from me has been washed, conditioned, and dried. I do not play with no dirty look looking wigs unless y'all request it. Unless y'all just want the hair just like it came out the pack. Yeah, so I find where I want for my part. I put the mousse down in the part. My hair, every wig is already plucked. So if you want to pluck it more, you can do that. Um, but... When I send the wigs off, the wigs are plucked and ready to smack on your head. So yes, I find that part. To make sure that part is straight. Now, if you see me walking down the street, my part may not be straight. I personally, I don't like um, uniformity when it comes to my wigs. Because I feel like when it's not really uniform, that's when it most looks the most natural. But I'm not going to sell a wig that looks crooked, you know. My part may look crooked because I want you to, to question, is this a weave? And then I might say yes or I might say no, depending on how I'm feeling. But you're going to question it because that part is not perfect. I don't know how to explain it. Just know it looks good, okay? Just know it looks good. But while I'm doing this process, I put on my hot comb. And I put my wax stick around the um, the part. Now, don't put it too much in the front. If you put the wax too much in the front above the knots, it's gonna show. So just put it right, right behind that hairline, right behind it, y'all. And sorry, I had this hot comb sitting for like twenty minutes already because. It, it got to get hot, but you don't want it too hot because sometimes the lace will melt. I literally, the other day, I had a lace completely tear apart. Like, in the middle, where the center part is, the lace just broke up, and I had to fix that. So, just be really careful. One, not to get on, on the lace, and make sure it's not too hot. Act like this is your head. So... I just do that with le lace and le hakum. And also while I'm doing that, I plug up my curling iron, even though this is the best curling iron ever created. And it only takes like a few minutes for it to get hot. I just get it ready to go. I see a little bit. I see a little bit. You know, I got to take that out. Yes, I'm a little ashy on my knuckle. We're going to ignore the ash. Focus on the things that matter in life. Okay? Just do that. Y'all see that hairline? It looks really good on. Um, I think my hair was natural at this time, so... I couldn't smack it on for you, but just take my word for it. And y'all, this was like a really big client for me. I ain't gonna say who it was, but baby. Um, hmm. I was like, this this one gotta it gotta it gotta give. Okay, this wig has to give like no other wig has given. Now I love everyone i love each one of my customers equally but y'all you know you know that phrase the lord will put you in rooms they no no, no 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 that's not it the lord will put your name in rooms that you have not even been in yet okay that's all i'm gonna say
That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to drop it down. Drop it down low. Okay. To the flow. <laughs> Bring it back up. And pop it. Pop, pop it. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I go two tracks at a time. I make sure all the hair is pinned up. And I split it. Like, say I'll take, I don't know, like two inches. And then I'll just do that. Now, the whole bottom layer, <laughs> these curls were not the as good as they usually are because I was trying to give my other curler now a chance. I know I'll be t taking favorites and I'll be using my other one. I was trying to give this one a chance. This is a newest addition to the family. Now, although these curls are good, these curls are good. The other curl and iron is great. I just don't know how to explain it. Like, it's smoother. It's really been um, broken in, you know? But, yeah, I just do that pretty much the whole time. I go two rows at a time. If you go the... Less hair, let me, let me see how I'm explaining it. The more hair you curl, the more, more curly it will have. It's not going to be like a body wave. Like, if you're going for, I don't know, an event, I guess. I feel like the more younger crowd is like really curly, like teens crowd. But grown woman, you know, they don't want them curls in their head, so... Do some bigger curls for that. Now, also, you can see I always curl inward. So, if I'm on my right side, my wrist should be twisting to the left. If I'm on my left side, my wrist should be twisting to the right. And I just split it down the middle, and I go from there. This is how I do it every single wig. And sometimes I spray in between. Sometimes I spray after I'm done. It just depends on how I'm feeling, to be honest. Now, you see, I broke out my other curling iron because I was like, no, this is, mm -mm. I It needs to give. But, yeah, y'all see how those are tight? I guess the bigger one is for, like, bigger girls. But I'm going to try it again. I'm going to give it another, another opportunity to to prove itself this week. Because I would be so sad. This curling iron right here that y'all see that everybody and their mama asked me where I get that from. Y'all, I've had this curling iron for over 10 years. Like, I don't know. <laughs> if you go on one of my other videos, it somebody somebody found it. But I've had this curling iron. Like, I, I appreciate y'all watching the video. But watch the dang on video. Everybody like, where you get this curling iron from? Oh my gosh, I said it in the video. I don't know. I had it since I was in high school. Literally since I was in high school. It's Con Air. They don't make it no more. I know that. They don't make the same exact color now no more. I don't know what happened. But I bought the color now for my mama. And it don't work the same. Okay? All I know is this color now is the GOAT. It was like, it has to be less than $20, and it squeaks now. It's very squeaky. The part where my thumb goes that you hold, that thing be falling off, so it be trying to burn me sometimes, but I just noticed the best color iron I've ever had in my life, and I don't know where I got it from, so please stop asking me. You... That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to link the new curling iron um, that they sell. I'm going to link that one, but this curling iron is just not the same. I don't know what to tell y'all. Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for my rant, but it's just very disheartening. You know, it's like no one listens. Are Were y'all paying attention or... Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyways, so yes, um, this hair has also been layered, so the curls will form like that. If you don't layer your hair, of course, it will be different. Um, you will have different outcome of the curls. 
yeah at the top i also take smaller sections because i want volume i know i said bigger curls bigger you know more hair but at the top baby i want i want i want everything okay everything so i'm gonna give everything and I also put my wax stick at the top for the flyaways. That is a good tip. I love doing that. Um, I was just I was just playing around with it one day, and so I put my wax stick for the flyaways so we get that yes, a little curl, a little kiss curl, girl. Um, who I thought I was, who I thought I was, and yes, I also take my brush. Um, you can take your paddle brush. If you want to completely comb out the curls, that's what I was trying to do. I wanted to completely curl out the curls because I was going for a different look. But if I wanted to keep the curls, I'll use either my fingers or I'll use a wide tooth comb. Oh, yeah. So, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Do y'all like this? I like it. I also, yes, my elbow is ashy. We are ashi today, okay? We're ashi. I am putting a little bit more layers in the bang area because who am I if not Farrah Fawcett's black daughter? Like, y'all know me. Y'all know I love my Farrah Fawcett curls, girl. Y'all know I love me some Farrah Fawcett curls. Yeah, look at that. Look, look, look at her. She's so curt. She's so curt. You know what's so funny? I've I don't know how many wigs I've made of this style, and I have yet to make one for myself. Because I honestly don't feel like it goes well with my skin tone. <sighs> I'm gonna do it one day though. One day I'm gonna do it. But yeah. Oh, this is three and one. I forgot it's a three and one. So we got the side. Y'all saw that side? Did y'all see it? Did you see it? Do you see the side part? Do you see? Oh, whoa. Hold up, Janae. What did you just do? What did you just do, girl? Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Back in the middle. Okay, she wanted to lean a little bit. But yes. <laughs> Thanks for coming to my video, video. If you want to order, link in the bio. Okay, thank you. Have a good day.